So I got this 2009 Honda Civic Si, but there's one issue with the audio. It's really annoying. So the previous owner installed a head unit and it has Android Auto, which is great. That's awesome. Except for the fact it's, you might not be able to hear it, but there's a lot of static. For whatever reason, this head unit just, whenever it's using Android Auto, just has so much static. I don't know if it's the head unit itself or maybe it was installed incorrectly. Who knows? And it is kind of cool because I've, I've never had Android Auto before, so I'm kind of missing out on that. But at the same time, I'm not going to listen to music like this. On top of that, anytime you have an aftermarket head unit, a lot of times the fitment will be really poor quality. You can see like this side is lifting up. Same with that side is kind of lifting up as well. This entire piece is aftermarket, so usually the fitment's not great for that. But I've got a cheap solution on how we're going to add Bluetooth to this old Civic. So here we have the stock head unit, courtesy of the previous owner, he included it. So completely stock, no navigation. And now we have this little Bluetooth dongle that we're going to add. And this is actually going to remove the CD function of this, which obviously I don't use CDs, so that's perfectly fine. And it's going to add Bluetooth. And you can see all of the makes that are included here. This is definitely a very generic Honda one. So you got the little Bluetooth dongle here. It's actually pretty small. And the installation is gonna be really easy. This is already pinned out for my specific car and all of those other cars mentioned. So all we're gonna do is just plug this into the CD port. It also comes with a nice little magnetic mount. So that's pretty cool. You can use this for your phone. Um, I don't know if I will, but hey, it's included. Okay, so we're looking at the stock head unit, obviously. We're going to take our dongle, right? So you see this white connector, easy as can be. I'm gonna flip this around, boom. Got the white connector right there, and this is again for the CD port. Now, one thing to know is that you obviously can't have this just rattling around. So I'm going to use some Velcro and essentially put this on the bottom of the double den unit, right about there. Again, it's, it's a completely plug and play connector. So as easy as can be, you're done now. All you have to do is kind of just mount this as best you can. Okay, and there we go. So it's all secured now. Good to go. Also, because this is hanging upside down, I'm also going to zip tie these wires to this support bracket just so they don't, you know, flop around. I'm also going to unplug the battery because Anytime you're working with something electrical in the car, even as simple as it is, has a chance to short circuit. So we're just gonna undo battery and disconnect it. Okay, so now that the battery is disconnected, we're gonna work on removing this aftermarket piece. To do that, we're actually gonna have to take this stock piece apart as well to free up this. Okay, so I peeled up on this. This is loose now. Okay, so I broke apart this. That's good. Now, should be able to kind of slide this on out. Just trying to be careful not to scratch anything. There we go. Okay. Now, gotta get in behind and unplug the harness. And this is obviously a little bit tricky and you guys aren't really gonna be able to see it. So I apologize about that. There we go, all right. It is out. Man, that was, uh, that was a lot, there was a lot of stuff back there. Because this is aftermarket, there's so many more individual connectors. It's, it was a lot. 
All right, let's let's see uh, let's see what this dude has done. This is this is gross. He whoever installed this absolutely mangled the installation. This is rough. So it looks like he left the stock connector intact, which is the most important thing. Although he might have spliced it. Yeah, it's looking like he did. He did not do a good job with it. Oh, God. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. He has absolutely decimated <laughs> the, the stock harness. He patched in a lot of wires. So I'm just gonna have to do some testing. This is obviously a lot easier if you're working on a stock car. This, uh, <laughs> this is not. So I, I gotta figure this out. Two hours later. All right, so after a lot of figuring out wires, we are finally putting this thing back in. All right, it's working. Nice. All right, no static either. That's awesome. All right, so I just ripped out the aftermarket head unit. My install is complete. I had to deal with an absolute rat nest of wires, which was horrible. But the good news is that the head unit fits perfect. And let me show you guys how it works. All right, so obviously we have the stock head unit right here. Power is on, that's great. So AM, FM obviously is going to work as normal, right? If you're doing this, it'll work the exact same. What I found is that my CD button is supposed to swap it to Bluetooth, but in this car, for whatever reason, the aux button does it. So that's a little bit odd. My brother has a CRV with this exact same module. His uses the CD button. So I, I don't necessarily know why they're different on this car, but uh, needless to say, it works. So we're just gonna click on some, uh, I don't know, copyright free music. Play that, it's already connected. Turn the volume up. There we go. As easy as that, we now have Bluetooth in an old Civic. And again, this works for a lot of Hondas. So if you saw yours in the uh, back of the box, then you're good. And this is just substantially better. The, the fit and finish of a stock unit is so much better. I just, this is great. This is all I want. I just want Bluetooth. And not only that, but the steering wheel controls work great. They just work as, as normal, like stock. So that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, pretty easy install. Mine was a little tough because it was an aftermarket unit, but uh, yours, if it's stock, should be a piece of cake. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll put the link to the um, product that I got in the description. Yeah, that's it. Have a good one.